What's going on YouTube? In this tutorial, I just want to show you how you can quickly and easily resize a table in Microsoft Excel. So here we have some sample data. And here we have a column over here that says running profit of the profit column that's in the table, right? But as you can see, this running profit column is not in the table, and we want this column included. So the easiest way to resize the table is to first hover into the table that we want to resize, then click on Table Design. And then click on over to the left, resize table. We can click on resize table. And as you can see, it, it, it it's when it pops up, resize table. One thing to note, it says the headers must remain in the same row. Resulting table range must overlap original table range for this to work. But in this instance, we can just expand the columns to be from L to N, for example. Now, the easiest way is to just go into this and then just manually type in N. 701 instead of L and then click OK and as you can see now this is including column N. Now one thing to note too is you can tell um, you might want to change rows too so right now we have 701 but maybe we want it to go to 7000 for fun right but and a similar concept if you want to make the table smaller so just say we're like man then you know this table is kind of annoying I only want it for the first two columns no problem you can just go into the N and then type B and as you can see the table now only has the first two columns, but be careful because when I made the table, only if the first two columns this refed out, which as you can see, because it was referencing the table originally, um, when I made the table only the first two columns this refed out because it was like, what am I referring to? So keep that in mind if you're trying to make a table smaller. And as you can see, you can also resize the table, rename the table in the profit in the process, so you can make, name it whatever you like to. Right now it's called financials, but we rename it whatever you like to. And one thing to tell is that the table name does show up whenever you're referencing the tables. You can see right now it's financials column one, but if I go into the table and I rename it to, to just test, for example, click OK, and then I go into the table, and now it's test at column name. So hope you found this to be helpful. If you did, like, subscribe, comment. Thank you for watching. You have a fantastic day.